Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about chat GPT prompt engineering for local government leaders. So if you're a city manager, you're head of our department, head of HR, we work in local government. This is a great video for you. If you want to optimize your usage for chat GPT and how to create, create a great prompt to give you best quality results. So I've categorized two different sections. One is the important things you should definitely have in your prompt. And the second one are like nice to have in your chat GPT prompt. So important ones are personal, contacts, and action. Personal means you got to give it a little bit of a personal information that from whose eyes chat GPT should look at this request from. So the way I like to do things is like, hey, I am a city manager of city of Scottsdale and I handle these things. Or I am the head of HR for city of Livermore, and this is my key responsibilities. So in a way, it gives a little bit of personal con information or background that, hey, look into this request from the eyes of this particular individual. Second one is the context. Context provides what a background of your particular request. If you are asking for strategic initiatives, you want to give it a little bit of background of what this initiative is about, why you brought up this particular initiative. Like any type of background information why you're doing this particular thing, data you might have, that context is really great to include. And last one, of course, is the action in how, what you want the chat GPT to deliver it to you. And then under the action where you can have the tone, format, and for follow-up options that you can definitely include to optimize your end result. So example would be, so let's say if you are asking chat GPT to write <clears throat> a memo or an email, Provide an example of that memo, of that email will be very helpful. So then ChatGP understands, okay, I need the output. I need to create the output in this type of format, right? And this type of structure. Tone, you want the output. What kind of tone do you have? Like each one of us have different tones. Like some are very enthusiastic, some are proud, empathetic, formal, casual. So what kind of tone do you want the output to be? And this is super helpful, especially when you're writing emails, you're writing memos, things like that. And how do you want the result to be? Like what type of format do you want the result? Do you want the result to be in bullet points, table, a matrix, a smart goals format, a SWOT analysis format? Like how do you want the output to be? And the last one, which is a really nice to have is follow-up questions. So when you give a prompt, you get a certain result. You can always ask it to, hey, why did you pick or created this answer for this particular section? Ask it for a reason. And then you can ask it to modify that particular section according to your liking. So follow-up ends up being really, really good to get you even better optimized results. So let's look at, for example, so personal contacts and action. And this is an example from the eyes of a city manager. So let's say if you are a city manager, and this is the, the prompt that I give it to ChatGPT. So you are the city manager of city of Scottsdale and oversees departments such as economic development, clerks, fire, police, et cetera. So it has an understanding that this is who, from whose eyes I need to look at this prompt at. Now your context. So one of your initiatives is to improve neighborhood safety so that the residents feel safe and secure in their homes, taking their kids to the park and other activities. So Scottsdale is growing with new multicultural residents coming from different states and new startups also getting established in the area. We want them to feel families to feel safe and secure. So this is a great context. And context you can provide the more the better, but then you also want to be that what is a good enough context you can give so chat gpt can kind of take it from there and the last most important is the action or the task what do you want chat gpt to do to do so create me a list of smart goals i should have under this initiative also include which departments should be in charge and how relative kpis should measure to ensure the progress and success so this is a real problem that a lot of city managers actually have and they have certain initiatives you have to sit down with council you have to sit down with departments come up with different goals and this chat gpt can kind of give you a very head start to those so let's let's copy this particular prompt and see what we can get so here's i've copied the prompt and i've put it in chat gpt your city manager same thing right so let's see what results do i get so you go, ChatGPT says, hey, certainly I can give you smart goals. And smart goals are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, time-bound, right? So you can have it different ways you want. So it gives me different goals under the initiative. So the first goal is list, reduce crime rates by 15% in the next 12 months. Very specific, very smart goal, right? The goal number two is gives increased community engagement in the neighborhood watch programs by 25% in next six months. Very specific. Enhance street lighting in high-risk areas within nine months. As you can see, it has given me a list of 
eight different SMART goals. And when you look at each one of the goals, it tells you responsible departments are police department, community service, and the KPIs you want to measure, monthly crime rate statistics overall by this type, response time to emergency calls, number of community police policing. So it gives you a list of KPIs. You don't have to use all of them, but it gives you a good idea of what type of KPIs you want to measure. And as you can see, this is the main part. The goal is very specific. It is time bound. It is measurable. It is achievable. And each one of these goals are SMART goals. So this gives you a great head start that you can kind of copy this thing and then take it from there. So you're not starting from scratch when you're creating your SMART goals for your particular initiative, right? So this gives you very, very clean answer. So let's look at another example. So now if you are a head of HR for city of Livermore, so this is example for writing a great email, right? So let's say the prompt is you are the head of HR at city of Livermore, and you have just launched a new initiative to boost employee morale and seen 57% increase in job satisfaction with the test group. You wanna write an email to the city manager, your boss, sharing this positive news to get them excited. And the email should have initiative background where you decided why you decided this initiative, how big was the test group, quantifiable business results, and the next steps or any budget requirements you might have. And you want to use a formal, confident, yet friendly tone, right? So this is a good, good, good optimize. As you can see, if you break it down, this is a personal information about you. This is the context. What do you want? You want to write, you want to write an email or a memo. This is the format you give, you're also giving an example and you are giving it a tone. So you, as we talked before, you can be as specific as you want. And as I was saying before, that if you actually have an example of a written email or memo, you can actually include that here as well. So then it has a more context that, hey, this is your writing style. Let me kind of take this and mimic this new ask based on the structure. So let's take a look, let's copy this, this format and let's see what chat GPT gives us. So I've copied this format. I already have it here. Um, let's click send. So there you go. With the email, it already starts you with giving you a subject line. Significant increase in employee job satisfaction through new morale initiative. And as you can scroll down, you can see how this thing structured. It addresses the city manager, enjoy working, initiative background. So as we asked it very specifically, hey, give me a quick background of why we picked this initiative. So it gives you a little bit of background that you can actually always edit and it says, we selected a diverse test group of 150 employees across various departments to ensure a comprehensive assessment of initiatives. So if you if you you picked 150 or you picked 10, you can kind of change, right? So this is particular ones. Then gives you a business results. Like what did you saw? What are the next steps? You want to expand this initiative. You want to continuously monitor it. And then what are you, your budget requirements? Are you looking for any money? Hey, like you're saying, hey, we estimate a budget of 50,000. So this gives you a pretty good head start, right? Of all these sections that were clearly asked chat GPT to do that give me initiative background, results and test group, next steps and budget. And as you can see, all those four sections are covered very neatly over here. So to wrap up, when you're creating a prompt for any of the ask, make sure you include these things. And these things are not a must have, like the tone, example, format. These are kind of nice to have, but your personal contacts and action, these are the must have to do those. And you can play around with different structures and see what gives you the best results. So thank you very much and have a great day.